My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterproba.com. Support the site through the Amazon links and donate button at Counterproba. Share the petition below to get the DNC to give the com their computer servers to the FBI. The FBI requested DNC computer servers. The DNC denied their request. Domestic and foreign policy is being decided upon by CrowdStrike's evaluation that they're not even certain of. A fantastic antiwar.com article below explains how even CrowdStrike isn't certain about its initial Russian hacking narrative that the DNC is perpetuating. The FBI, nobody in the U.S. government, the NSA, has never had access to those servers. Share the petition below. Susan Rice will eventually testify. Democrats under oath. If I'm assuming re Republicans are smart, that is yet to be determined. But if they're smart, and if they have any, if, if the Trump administration wants to put this thing to rest, this entire fake Russian hacking, fake news story, Susan Rice will testify under oath. Susan Rice, unfortunately, was sent to, um, after Benghazi, she took the fall for Benghazi, even though it was Obama and Clinton who should have taken in the initial um, responsibility. But Susan Rice, again, is at the center of an Obama-Clinton debacle. She will testify under oath. I'll read you an article. Susan Rice defiant amid growing calls for her to testify under oath. As Susan Rice faces growing calls to testify under oath, the former Obama administration official now accused of ordering the unmasking of Trump officials under surveillance is suggesting that she never did so for political purposes and that it is sometimes necessary for investigative purposes. Then why was Trump, according to many reports, spied on a year before the election? Why was he spied on at all if he had a 20% chance of winning even up until June of 2016? Nate Silver gave Hillary an 80% chance of winning. Why, if it's about Russia, isn't the Podesta group or Bill Clinton investigated for his ties? Why doesn't Susan Rice, uh, why didn't Susan Rice unmask the people that Clinton spoke to? The people who paid him $500,000 from a Moscow investment bank? with ties to the Kremlin. That's in the New York Times. What about the cash flowing to the Clinton Foundation amid the uranium sale? The Snopes.com, uh, Snopes has successfully erased the fact that the, the actual reality that money went to the Clinton Foundation amid the uranium deal. It's all coincidence. The only way to get to the bottom of this is to have Susan Rice testify under oath. If Susan Rice testifies under oath, you can ask simple questions like, when was, when was Trump spied on? When was Trump first spied on? Well, I don't know, okay? Then if you don't know that, why on earth were you part of the, the investigation to begin with? You're the National Security Advisor. What on earth are you doing, Susan Rice? Unmasking names? For the intelligence, uh, because the intelligence community says these names should be unmasked, well, what's it to you? Why on earth? You you're, you help decide the course of U.S. foreign policy. What are you doing helping an investigation that has to do with a private entity, the DNC? What did you do with those names? Why were those names unmasked? Did they actually have anything to do with Russia? Did you learn anything from those names that were unmasked? Give me your thoughts below. Susan Rice, if Trump is smart, it's probably Trump people watching this channel. Fine, great. I voted for Bernie Sanders, Jill Stein, but anything that dismantles a corrupt Democratic Party that cheated Bernie Sanders, who would have become president, fine by me. If Trump is smart, because he's in government now. It's not Democrats think that they're still in power. They're not. Trump is smart. And the Republicans are smart. They demand Susan Rice testify under oath. After all, she didn't do anything wrong. Isn't that how it goes, Democrats? Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.